And Congressman Chris Van Holland, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Martin. I want to get to, to Senator Reid's plan in a moment, but first, what was your reaction to Mr. Walsh's considered contribution to this debate? He's not even going to vote for Speaker Boehner's plan. Well, you see exactly the dilemma we're facing, which is you have this core of hard right uh, Tea Party uh, Republicans in the House of Representatives who don't think it's a problem if the United States doesn't pay its bills. I mean, every American family has to pay their mortgage. They have to make their car payment. They can't get up one day and say, I'm not making those payments anymore. But that's what they're proposing, with the single exception is they say, well, we'll pay China, we'll pay our bondholders, but it's okay not to pay the troops, not to pay Social Security, anything that's not in the form of a Treasury a bond obligation, uh, they're willing to write off and say you're on your own. Uh, we think that's reckless, and we also think that in itself uh, will jack up interest rates and cost Americans much more uh, through uh, their purchases of all the goods and services throughout the economy when you have interest rates going up. Mr. Van Hollen, we understand that the White House has issued the threat of a veto. The president said last night in his televised statement that he believes he can reach a compromise, but where on earth do we go from here? Well, the reason the president made this statement, and this is important, is we should not be playing Russian roulette with the economy every six months. I mean, Speaker Boehner's proposal would put us in exactly the same fix six months from now that we're in today. Why you would want to keep that kind of economic instability and uncertainty going uh, is beyond me. Uh, we, we deserve better. Now, where do we go from here? Uh, I do believe that Senator Reid's proposal uh, is the right answer. Uh, it goes a long way towards meeting the criteria that our Republican colleagues have laid out. You talk about moving the goalposts. Uh, this has met all the criteria they put out. Now, all of a sudden, they say, well, we can't afford, we, we don't want to accept Senator Reid's plan because he uses the savings from winding down the U.S. Uh, presence overseas in Afghanistan and Iraq, which the Republicans did in their own budget presentation here in the House. It's as confusing as you say, and we're still waiting to see how this matter will be resolved. Congressman Chris Van Hollen, thanks so much for joining us. Good to be with you.